our next step is to remount our flight controller board back onto the power distribution board. Um, I'm going to use double-sided tape again. I'm, this is the high quality, decent 3M stuff. Um, and uh, I'm gonna stick it out pretty much exactly as it was previously. Um, I have cleaned off the area it was stuck on. I have cleaned off the old glue. Um, from that, I have repaired my um, receiver board, uh, the casing, and I've put a, a cable tie around that. Now, what I'm planning to do is once this is stuck on here, yeah, I want to push that under there. That's also going to get stuck down there, and possibly also a cable tie across that. Um, but yeah, I'm first going to stick that. I, I don't feel like pulling out cables now, um, but yeah now how did i clean uh, these surfaces now yeah in south africa we have a fantastic product called spray on electro cleaner and i actually don't spray this directly onto the board i use an old polishing cloth which i have here which i just spray a little bit onto and then you just rub it down and it cleans off dust contaminants oils glue and all that uh, junk I don't know what you're going to use um, on the other side of the sea, <laughs> wherever you guys are, uh, you should have something similar. But it is specifically made to clean electronics and electronic boards, etc. Uh, fantastic stuff. A little pricey, but well worth it. I love to use that. Right, let's go ahead. Now, I'm going to use two layers of um, double sided tape to make sure that I've got a decent stick down on that. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up this little last cut because it wasn't quite as straight as I would like. All right. Um, just measure out a little piece there. wonder now how am I measuring this well I'm looking at the dots on the paper and that gives me a fairly nice eyeball of uh, exactly where you're gonna cut and uh, that's a nice advantage of this stuff it has a little pattern okay and it's actually quite easy to eyeball this I know exactly under that little M I'm going to cut. And you get your legs pretty much. They don't need to be absolutely exact. But yeah, that's how I do it. Sometimes people wonder how I get these things done the way I do. That's just me. Right, there I have my pieces stuck. That should give it quite a bit of a absorption um, and vibration reduction. <laughs> Let's just make sure that surface is not clean. I don't want any oils or anything from my hand stuck onto that. And then, you know, just to be absolutely sure, I'm going to use just that little bit of spray on electro cleaner again. You just need absolutely a little bit of that. It's probably the closest that I can guess, uh, like a rubbing alcohol perhaps but uh, it leaves absolutely no residue right let's clean that again. put that away right 
now I am going to try and get this stuck down as straight down to the front as possible uh, there's probably other ways to do this but you know considering how skew this was anyway I stick it is probably going to be better than it was And that is it for me. I like that. That is to me very straight. Right. I like to give a little bit of pressure and just hold on to it like that for a second or two. Okay, and that's stuck down. Front facing forward. Right, let's tackle this um, receiver board. I was thinking of getting it under there. I am actually going to put a, a small piece of double-sided tape, not a huge piece, just to anchor it. And to show you how small this piece is, that's all I'm going to use. Just to anchor it, and I'll show you how I am going to grip it with the cable tie. I'm aiming for around there. Okay, now I've already inserted my, my antenna wires, one coming out middle center here, which I'm planning to put on that arm and the other one is going underneath and that's going to go onto that arm just so that I have one at the front and one at the back okay now I'm trying to get this through here and push down and inwards all right that's a little too far and you just see that is where I want it yeah it can stay just there Okay, now I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to let's just take a chance and see if we can get one around there. There we go. Yeah, you see one is too short, as I pretty much guessed. Okay, let me just pull on that one a little bit. And we can anchor it with this one. This should be more than enough to hold it in place. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fly off the board. It's just stay there. <laughs> it's not uh, as if uh, this thing is ever going to move away from where it is stuck there. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to cut it off for a nice clean edge. Pull that one slightly in and snip. And there we go. That receiver board is pretty much hardened down. That's it, guys. And uh, that is our receiver and our flight control board of the CX20 stuck down. <laughs>